After my first third of the program was uh, ended last week and all the numbers you want to be down or down and the ones you want to be up or up and um, on the scale, 10 pounds. So I've um, finally um, at the less than the number that's on my driver's license <laughs> that I've been fibbing, I've been rounding down for decades. And so I've just got another 10 to go to a goal weight. Um, but uh just feeling better, more energy and no red on my um, numbers anymore. So that's fun to not have any red on the numbers. But my main encouragement um, as I go into this second third, which I'm really excited because on day 30 ish, I think on the um, video, you say that, the, you know, it's just going to even get ramped up and powered up. And I'm really excited to see what happens because I'm already so excited. But more than half of the days of my first third I was not in my own home. I was traveling. And when I had talked to you, John, I said, well, I've got some travel ahead of me. And he said, oh, you can do this. So not in my own home, not in my own kitchen, kind of at the mercy of some other schedules and, you know, different things in different states. Um, and it's just so very possible. It was it was difficult. But I think just that and you, you tell us to do this and uh, but preparing in advance what might be the obstacles um, I was going, I went into a home, uh, my grandchild, very, very allergic to uh, tr tree nuts, like EpiPen carrier, 911, they've been in the hospital. It's, you know, so we don't even say the word nuts in their home. So I, so I didn't take any, any nuts. So no protein with nuts um, mm -hmm. that he's allergic to fish in the home. So no fish. So all the things that are my normal sources of protein and fats were, were gone, but by pre preparing in advance and doing the internet um, look up things and, and going on Facebook and saying, Hey, what have you guys found for protein with no nuts, you know, bars and things. I was able to find something and have it shipped to me there, at, you know, on the East coast coast so that I had a, a thing of bars to throw in my bag that I could have in the house because I you know I just honor that my son and his family so much I just don't bring anything into their home that they don't bring into their home and it's all possible so anyway, I'm just thankful for a program that can go with me and that when we think about it and prepare in advance um, we really can do this we really can do, no matter where we are mm, that's good yeah, I love that. First of all, your glasses are super awesome. <laughs> I love He's your fun. glasses. Yes. But yes, how fun and how inspiring because we have a lot of people that they hesitate on even starting because they have travel coming up. They have travel mm -hmm. plans. And so mm -hmm. your testimony is so encouraging to so many people that, you know, that are hesitant to start because of a possible, you know, vacation or work trips or that maybe they travel for work. So just appreciate you really digging into that side of it because that's very helpful. Your testimony for a lot of people that may otherwise not have started. Yeah. Cause I think that the idea of waiting until after this, cause that was my thought pattern. And I thought, I don't want to. And, and now to think that I could, you know, that I'm this far down and, and by Christmas I can be at numbers, you know, back, you know, at some point you have to say it's not baby weight. My baby is 30 years old. You know, <laughs> you, at some point, at some point you got to stop using that excuse. Right. And it looks like by Christmas, yeah. I'm down to there. And, and if, if, you know, at a, at a pound or two, we coming up here, it so exciting. So thank you. Thank you.